Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, I want to show you how we can create graphs like these from Excel data using Python, Plotly, and Wayscript. Let's get started. Starting out, let's create a script. Then, once we have that script created, let's pull in the files that we need. Since we're creating this graph using Excel data, what we can do is go and grab that Excel data and pull it in to our file manager. So let me go and grab that data. I have it in this folder here and I will pull it in. What I'm using for this demonstration is a very popular data set called the Iris data set. And I'll be sure to link that in the description if you want to follow along completely with this tutorial. But now that we have this, let's go ahead and create that graph that we want to pass to an endpoint. Since we want to host that graph, what we need is an HTTP trigger and an HTTP response. The conjunction of these two will give us a URL that we can host our graph on. We see that URL supplied here under our HTTP trigger under endpoints. Now, what we need to do is to create it using Python. I already have some of this typed up, so I'll go and grab it, but we'll talk to it. That way you know everything that's going on. So what we're doing is we're going to create a graph using Plotly and Pandas. In this example, we're importing the libraries that we need. And since Plotly isn't included as a default installed library, what we have to do is go down to our requirements.txt and we'll add in Plotly. This means that we can use it in that Python script that we're creating with no problems. We'll close that editor and go back into Python. And now, once we have our libraries, we're creating a data frame from our Excel spreadsheet, referencing that data by the relative path. And since it's in the same directory, we just reference it by its name. We can get rid of this print statement. And then we're creating the figure that we saw in the beginning of this video here. All it is is a scatter plot that's taking in a few of the variables on the Excel spreadsheet and plotting them. Then we're writing that as an HTML file to the same directory that we're working in. If we wanted to write this to a different directory, we could, but we'll keep it in the same one for now. At this point, when we execute this, we should get back that graph.html file that we saw in the beginning under our Excel graph with Plotly example. Let's go ahead and run this. Giving it a few seconds to execute, we should see that graph.html populate here. After a few seconds, we see that we have it. At this point, let's go ahead and pass this HTML file as a string so we can use it in the HTTP response. We'll do that with some code that looks like this. We're just referencing the path of our file. We're going and opening it, choosing the encoding, we're reading it, and then we can get rid of this print source code. Finally, we assign it to a variable called HTML. This is a way script variable of the string of that source code. Now, when we run this again, we should have a variable that we can use to pass it to that HTTP response. All this code is on GitHub and I'll be sure to link it below too. Now that we have that source code, we'll close the editor, open up that HTTP response, and then we can pull this HTML into the response content. Awesome, so we've built this out. The last thing we need to do is to turn it on. So we'll turn on the HTTP trigger and then we'll go to that URL that's provided under endpoints. We should open up that graph that we saw in the beginning. After a few seconds, we see that we do. We could definitely make this graph much more complex, but I just wanted to show you how you could get started using Plotly in Python to create these sort of interactive graphs all from Excel data using the Wayscript platform. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll help you out. Until next time.